trying to talk him out of it. Like when you when you say first in the city, you mean like but coming back to Los Santos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After the long years. Is is he like uh God, I've never met this guy. What like what what the he fuck? He doesn't look like Italian. He looks like a ginger. So Juno is a part of this group. How how did she fail to get them to vote for me? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, like I was saying, you can't serve two masters. But anyway, I feel like she must not be, um, you know, she must not be uh, hateful towards me if she offered to plan our wedding, right? We have to watch out for the red wedding. We can only trust each okay. other. <laughs> she did tell me to invite all my only like to keep it small and only invite close my close family, and I'm like I. People so, who noticed so that we're missing. <laughs> hey, it, it, Podrick? Oh, he's a drunk. We won't. We can't have him there. <laughs> you think he's gonna object? <laughs> no, no. I'm just scared he's gonna puke all over the cake. Oh. I don't think he can hold this liquor very well. Really? I, I mean, he was super drunk for hours. <laughs> and he didn't puke once. Dr yeah, I, I didn't. I mean, I don't think. Hey, he, he must have gotten. He gotten better at it then. How old, how old is Padraig? I'm not sure, alright? I, I only remember him coming over for uh, my Nana's Pope's Pie for Easter and Good Friday a couple of times. Did I ever ask you about what he's trying to get going? <laughs> yeah, he's trying to start the Provisional Irish Republican Army again. He's calling it something else, but <laughs> we all know what it is. It's got the same acronym. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's literally why Seamus is in prison. Who? My brother Seamus, he's in prison forever. He was involved in some <coughs> car bombings. Oh. Yeah. Is Irish car bomb an offensive thing to say nowadays? If you ordered that in a pub in Ireland, you would get slapped in the face. Oh, that's good to know, actually. Yeah, don't order one. You will literally get thrown out of the pub. <clears throat> I don't want to get my ass beat. <laughs> not by a bunch of drunk Irishmen, that's for sure. I'm not very good at fist fighting, Siobhan. Is that okay? You said you're a good shot, right? Yes, actually. And you're a great driver. Uh, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, when compared to other people, no. I'm passable, I would say. Passable. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> I mean, are you thinking about, like, racers or, like, what? Uh, when I think of, like, drivers, I, I used to do a lot of jobs, right? Okay. Um, Driving jobs? N bank jobs. <laughs> I was a bank robber. Did I ever tell you that? No. You robbed banks. Yeah. They're FDIC insured. I support Robin Hood. I, I mean, I literally was Robin Hood. I would give most of my money away to people. That sounds pretty Robin Hood to me. So what else did you do? What else crime things did you do? Mm, I sold cocaine. <laughs> do you know where you can get cocaine? Um. No. <laughs> I think it'd just be really nice to have cocaine on our wedding night. That's all. Yeah, like a, a, dual, a dual rail off your ass. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and then I'll do a line off your dick. <laughs> yeah, you know, just like an eight ball? Yeah. Between the two of us? <laughs> I mean, that's a lot. Like, that is actually okay. Okay, can, maybe not. Can you handle that? Right. Can you handle? I don't that? think I. I haven't done cocaine in a long time. <laughs> she got me, man. Man, um, like a a gram, gram. Okay, yeah, a gram. Yeah. A gram. Yeah. You're yeah. not one of those people who's gonna finish your gram and then you're gonna ask me, Hey, Siobhan, can I have some of your gram now? You like that? Are you one of those selfish people? No, I'm. I am anti-selfish. We'll do it. Yeah, we'll, but, we'll we'll do it like uh. You ever see Lady and the Tramp? We'll do a line like that. Okay, all right. That's, that is the opposite of selfish. That's so romantic. You want a you want a Lady and the Tramp a line of cocaine with me? Yeah, we could do it off my dick too, because I don't have my two lower ribs, so I can like I can kind of like oh. get down there. Yeah. Nice. I'll, yeah. Start, I'll start from I'll, the, the hilt. You get you get the head, and then we kind of meet up halfway. Halfway through the shaft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's the most romantic thing a man has ever said to me. I'm a giver. <laughs> and I believe in sharing. <laughs> um, what do you think about, um, you ever do meth? 
We talked about this. Fuck meth. Adderall is pharma pharmaceutical grade meth. Oh. Look at the pharmaceutical grade shit. Why would we want something that might be mixed with fentanyl off the street? True. Yeah, meth's gross. I've never done meth. It's bad for your teeth. Yeah. Um. You would ruin your smile if you did that. Yeah. Look at my smile. I'm like a. I love your smile. I'm like a Cheshire cat. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Like when it's half like dissolving into the dark and it's like just the teeth left and it's like the outline of your in the, the skull. Yeah. Were you um, were you big were you big Alice in Wonderland girl? Um, ish. Read the book. Have watched the film. Mm -hmm. I definitely identify with Alice when I say I give very good advice, but I seldom follow it. Okay. You've got a good memory if you remember that shit. <laughs> I have a freakish memory. If I will remember every good and bad thing you do. What's one bad thing I've done? Oh, I don't know any of those. Oh, you haven't done any bad things yet. Ooh. And technically, you haven't done any bad things because I didn't listen to you. <laughs> What's the first bad thing that's going to happen? What's the first bad thing that's going to happen? Yeah. Um, my prediction? Yeah. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's say you and Mayor, your deputy mayor, wants to get rid of you because then they become mayor. I could predict that happening. Okay. Um, that's a possibility. That is the reason why the United States changed their constitution to allow, you know, like presidents to pick their own VP and, and running mate as opposed to making the second person the the vice president around like 1826 or something. Yeah, I'm going to change that shit. <laughs> that should be changed. It, that one's going to be the hardest one to change. Yeah, but it's literally just begging for an assassination attempt. Yeah. Um. Or, or someone kidnaps me to try to force you to do something bad so that they can get you impeached in the position. But that's probably the two worst things that could happen. Yeah. For sure. But I meant, like, shit that, like, I, I could do to piss you off. <laughs> what you said about classic rock earlier, it really, really oh. cut me to the quick. <laughs> no way. That's, like... <laughs> but then you said you liked Journey, so obviously that couldn't be true. Yeah, I think I... What I mean is, like, butt rock. I'm not, like, uh, into butt rock. Is ACDC butt rock? I don't know. I don't like ACDC. I don't know, but I would count them. I would count them. Um, Only like one ACDC song. Which one? Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. I, I man, I, now that I'm thinking about it, I even like, I really like uh, grading singers. I don't know, like G R A T I N G, like with like really unique. I know what you mean. Yeah, 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 like yeah. The, like kind of, I like the Nickelback singer's voice. I'm sorry. Okay, so he's not what I think of when I think of that. Like, Daughtry. Um, is that his name? Chris Daughtry is not his name. Daughtry is, is a, I'm going home to the place where I belong. That song? Uh, no Daughtry. American Idol winner. Actually, he didn't win. He was robbed. Mm, I'm not familiar. You might know more about pop culture than me. <laughs> um, are you sure? Yeah. I, uh, when, no. I, when, I, when I say grading, I mean like, um, just like unique voices that are kind of like, Aggressive to listen to, I guess, or grading. Oh, yeah, grading. The gravelly. I like that shit. Gravelly. Yeah. Like that guy who sings It's a Wonderful World. Um, a little too deep for me, I think. Oh, thank God I hate his voice. Okay, good. You know, you know who I like a lot? Who? I like uh, Jello Biafra. <laughs> who? He's the lead singer of the Dead Kennedys. Oh, Dead Kennedys. Yeah. Uh -huh. you know, he has, yeah okay, like that vocal style. Mm hmm. Yep. I like. Uh, I do like that voice too. The dude from Motorhead, but I've only ever heard like one song. I. Oh, I literally have no Motorhead in my brain. None. Not a single Motorhead song. I, I thought of Radiohead first. That's the only song I know. <laughs> You have you, to listen to it. You never heard Ace of Spades? You, I guarantee oh, you have. I probably have. Everyone's heard that song. Yeah. Yeah, I probably have. It's just not, it's just not up there right now. It's crazy how the same music days is moving. Like I'm thinking of Enya. Fucking. I remember walking into supermarkets and then, like hearing that Enya CD on repeat. <laughs> or not supermarkets, the fucking uh, Walmart.
Yeah. <clears throat> I have. I, I have gone to a Walmart once. It was a terrible experience. What do you think Some about... Some lady was yelling at the register. She was complaining. Why are they like that? I don't know. They don't get paid enough. Some gross shit goes down in Walmarts, man. <laughs> True. You ever see the, the people of Walmart? I've seen the Karens of Walmart. The the what of Walmart? The Karens? Oh, the, yeah, the Karens. Karens really. of Walmart. Yeah, man. Do you ever, uh, you ever collect coupons and shit? You a couponer? Yeah. I used to be really poor, and I had to coupon everything. Poor. You ever eat government cheese? I never ate government cheese, thankfully, but I have uh, known many people who have. I have not either. I've always wanted to try Government. It. Can't believe the government used to just give people blocks of cheese. Those were the days. Yeah. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe your government can bring back the government cheese the government. and give people some cheddar. <laughs> Could have thrown out those fucking homeless guys at Senior Buns. Imagine you could give them a block of cheese instead of nine bucks. Almost people hate it when you give them food instead of money. <laughs> I mean, aren't they hungry? That's what they say. But they're hungry for fucking booze and yeah. drugs. I saw a guy one time who was like, why lie? It's for weed. I'm like, here's 20 bucks, lad. Yeah. Go get yourself a tub sack. Just be honest, man. Just be fucking honest. That that's the uh that's the theme for my whole fucking week. <laughs> oh yeah. Um I think that honesty is definitely a very good policy and that people in power need to be transparent as a means of accountability. You know what I was thinking? But, uh, filming council meetings. I love that idea. Yeah, I, I like don't. C-SPAN. Yeah, kinda. Yeah. Why the f not? Why the freak not? It should be. It should be that way. Again, transparency, accountability for the people. Right? I mean, don't have stuff happen behind closed doors. The on the other end, um. I'd, I'd somehow doubt that everyone else would be on board with that. I think they're scared. Uh, <laughs> really? What? <clears throat> um, having their true feelings, being the bad guy, I guess. You know? Yeah. They don't want. Yeah, they don't want to look bad because they had an unpopular opinion. Just put it to a vote. Maybe force it through anyway. That I think so. I, I here's. If you don't want to get called out on your shitty opinions, you probably shouldn't have had shitty opinions. Oh well, yeah, or ran to begin with. You know, uh, I've been working so hard to organize uh, every single person in the uh, prospective council. Uh, I'm. I would like to talk to Cantor more, but I feel like we get along pretty well. Uh, Malton, I get along with. Um, PD Liaison's kind of up in the air. Oh, I gotta call Edda. Do you mind if I call Edda real quick? No, call her. You should. Oh, absolutely. You should call her. I, I, Did I tell you I don't just mind, I, I insist. I, I, Edda. Hi, Max. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. Are you crying? No, no. Aww. I'm just at, at a call where my boyfriend is currently up on top of a bridge with clowns and may fall a great height Ooh, uh the, oh <laughs> yeah um i might be able to do something about that yeah you know do you know which clowns uh i heard chatterbox okay um i'll call you right back thanks <clears throat> clowns no she's on the phone Yeah, uh, clowns kidnapped her boyfriend, and they've got her up on a bridge, I guess. <laughs> Not the best time to, uh, congratulate. Do I have any clowns' numbers, or? So, I, I, Tessa is apparently- I lost their number! Tessa's apparently, like, what? their weird den mother, so I was gonna call her, 
and then like have her negotiate. It's not a bad idea. Um. No. If it's Chatterbox. It is. I'm their attorney. Uh, you could try. Fuck it. You guys never. <laughs> uh, I don't because I lost all my contacts. I wonder if I have it. Ooh, she's calling me. Hey, Tessa, were you just on the phone with Chatterbox? No. Could you call him and tell him to release the cop that he's got hostage right now? Uh, which cop? Uh, it's going to be, uh, Maple. <laughs> Why does he have Maple off? I, I don't know, but he's got him on top of a bridge right now. <laughs> oh, um, why do you care? Uh, it's Etta's, uh, boyfriend. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to do a favor for her so that, you know, I see. for future Board of H shit, you know? All right, I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. Good luck. Where, where are they exactly? I don't know. They're just on a bridge somewhere? Yeah, a, a tall bridge by the sounds of it. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll give him a call, I'll see what he can do. Good luck, I love you. Uh, okay. Now I call that up back. Resolved. Yeah. Hey. Hello. So hey. I've called my, uh, my trump card. Uh huh. Uh, she is like their, uh, den mother, I guess. Uh huh. And I, hopefully she can help. I told her to call Chatterbox, but I don't really know. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. And thank you for the congrats. Yeah. I'm glad you went through and did it. Uh, you have to, you're gonna have to tell me about your interview and how it went and shit, because I never actually got to ask well, you that. Yeah. Yeah. We really haven't had a moment to, to have. So, how are you feeling about the election? Uh, I've seen some exit polls recently that are kind of alarming. I've been putting in a lot of work mm -hmm. during AU. Um, yeah. And I don't think the exit polls are entirely accurate. And I think I have a very good chance to win, but I'm not going to risk anything. And I'm going to be um, on it until the very fucking last minute. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, that's uh, from... Everybody that I've spoken to, um, a lot of a lot of them have said that they they were voting for you, and That's Sean I and I hear. both voted for you. So, I mean, it could just be that they're just not talking to people. I mean, right? Exactly. We weren't approached. So, the, what it is, uh, like you probably saw the the same poll that I'm talking about. Mm -hmm, yeah. Um. So Stelio and Simone were sending people to get exit poll, and we never did. That. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Okay. Um. Also, Sean gave me a, a fucking second degree speeding ticket. <laughs> Did he really? Yeah, well, I, I mean, I deserved it. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I love him. He's like me, no exceptions. So, yeah, I actually respect that. He was pretty nice about it too. <laughs> okay, good yeah. luck. I, I hope he doesn't die. Yeah, me too. Me too. Done. Wait, who called you? Uh, Sebastian. What do you want? Nothing. He was just calling me to chat, and I told him I was on a date. Ooh. So um, that I would call him back, and he said, "Have fun on your date. Goodbye." Wait, who's Sebastian again? Ableton. I don't remember. Okay. Uh, he's uh, uh, he used to be the head of the Neon Tigers. Um, he actually started the Neon Tigers like five years ago, seven years ago, even. Is this the guy that wears um, the ghillie suit? Uh -huh. No, he does not wear the ghillie suit that I have seen. Um, his sister used to own a dispensary um, uh, that was a competing dispensary with Windsong's dispensary, Smoke on the Water. Uh -huh. And he was a, one of the six original co-owners of Pitchers, the first gay bar in the city. I think I've met this guy. You have met him. Okay. Uh, he was my friend at the clothing store who oh, was surprised yeah. that... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes he lights the gaze bat signal for me and I have to show up and do things. For the gaze? For the gaze. <laughs> Can you say the gaze? <laughs> He's the one who said that. Okay. I'm just repeating his words. <laughs> and I feel like as a bisexual, I'm I'm I should be included and I don't support by erasure. Well, there you go. I'm ninety nine point nine percent straight. 
Is the point one percent for Tanner? Uh, yeah. I understand. Completely. Um, <laughs> hunting licenses are only a thousand dollars now. What were they before? More, like fifteen grand. Like one five zero zero zero. Yup, yup. What the fuck? Yeah, so um, Crane must be actually ready to release them to the populace. That's what I can imagine. I did. He also started working on a one-child policy legislation for you. He did, or you did? I did. Ooh, we like that. Yeah, I want to sit. I'm I'm very excited to sit down and actually start proposing legislature, man. That's gonna be my favorite. I feel like you were born for it. I, I, you were born for it. I, I not only that, but I'm lucky enough to have met you and Jonathan and all these people who are like actually good at the I mean I consider myself a pretty good writer but I don't know all of the the hoops and shit you know I don't know how to make something airtight you know what I'm saying yeah the 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 legalese right yeah really what it is <clears throat> um okay I just want to look at the time okay getting close to the sun set in and then wind song in the park because that surprise got ruined what uh which park Actually, you know what? Don't uh, tell me. Make it a surprise. Yeah, surprise. <laughs> I'm going to make you close your eyes. Okay. Um, I feel like... I feel like I... We don't need to have this talk, but I feel like I have to say this anyway. Sure. Um, uh, I know I don't always do a good job of articulating everything I'm thinking because my thoughts are racing like 9 million miles a minute. Hey. Are you reading that right now? <laughs> I am. Did you write your thoughts down? Yes, I did. That's I wanted a, to compose fine. them. That's fine. I wanted to compose them, all right? Uh, I, I, I constantly worry I'm going to say too much or overshare, and it's just like a hazard of the trade. Yeah. Um, and like, I, I don't, I don't want to be a burden to anyone, least of all you, because I know how busy you are, and I feel like in that process, I have been a burden to you. And I, I know that the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Um. I know from being a judge that like eyewitness testimony is famously unreliable. People rarely recall relevant details, but they remember how something made them feel yeah. and that the first person who comes forward generally tends to be the one who controls the narrative. Yeah. This is Pixie and I'm not taking this because she is going to yell at me about what I texted you earlier. Me being missing? No, her secret man being Rod Long. Oh, right. Turns out it wasn't Rod. It's a different guy. Oh. <laughs> and I, I caused a problem when she was on a date with Rod. Uh, what did you do? I was like, oh, so this is the guy. And oh. then Rod's like, I just asked her out. Oh, oh. whoops. <laughs> she called me Okay, this is, Pe this is Penelope. I feel like I should Penny? answer this. Yeah, hi, Penny. You're falling into a gooning trap, please, Moon. Please, Harry Potter. Don't worry about it. I appreciate that, Penny. Thank you. Uh, have a good night. Sweet dreams. Good night. Wait. I forgot she had my car. Oh. Well, we should go get that eventually. She left it in the back of the apartment, so it's it's fine. Yeah, we can get that later. Don't forget to put um, that shit away. Wait, I forgot to put my other one away. Do you have two out right now? Uh, do I? I only have one. They took one. Yeah, then uh, you just got to worry about the one that she has. Okay, good. I heard, good, you, good, I heard good. you have to return them before the uh, due time in order to not get fined. They uh, repoed me while I was driving in the middle of the road. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How fast were you going? Not that fast, thank goodness. <laughs> you, you, are, oh, you, have, God. you have extremely bad luck with transportation. I've done this. <laughs> yeah, it's to make up for all the good luck I have in uh, romance lately. Yeah, speaking of which, you were uh, confessing your feelings to me? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, okay, where was I? I was like, uh, Road to Hell is paved with good intentions. I think mm -hmm. that's where I left off. Yeah. Um, anyway, I, and I know all those things about j judge things, and I still somehow had managed to, to fuck up in, in that, right? Where... Uh, you heard things from people who weren't me first, right. uh, who, who, who would misconstrue my intentions. Right. So I was trying to avoid that, and then that still happened because I didn't want to be a burden to you. Uh-huh. Um, 
And I feel like I have to apologize for that. I know you've already forgiven me, but I just, I feel like that is something I have to like own up to. Um, and also that, um, I was saying this earlier that like I'm, I'm dealing with something I have not dealt with in the city for a long time. The change of the judiciary meant that people knew I could not lie to them about many things, right? right? So if I said a hard truth or a weird truth, they knew I was being true and I, and I didn't have ulterior motives. Mm -hmm. and, and being under a microscope now is, is not something that I am used to. What the fuck is gooning? <laughs> um, anyway, I just, um, I have so much history with the Department of Justice and like that's not gonna go away and I don't want it to cause problems for you and me. Mm -hmm. How could it? So, um, uh, probably jealousy, jealous people trying to cause issues trying to 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 break a wedge between us do so you have to get that no i told you i'm never gonna make you feel bad about being on your phone because i i i was made to feel bad about, about it enough that i would never want someone to feel that way yeah not on account of me yeah no it's fine it's just a random guy i met yesterday oh, okay all right good so who who are our prospective uh people in uh, the DOJ that might cause troubles, apart from Murphy. Serge. So, um... Oh, this one's important, Tessa. Okay, take it. Where'd it go? Um, I don't really know. I know where they are, but um, I sent Sooty, who is kind of like the other clown mom, uh, but she's actually a clown, mm -hmm. to go and uh, intercept. So I'm hopeful that it'll turn out okay. I think they had... They're, they're playing Clown Risk. Um, like the board game, Risk? Uh, it's, it's not quite like that. It's more they go up on a bridge and they roll a dice for what they have to do. And okay. sometimes it's just goofing around and like, uh, I don't know, doing jazz hands or sometimes it's do a flip. Like off the bridge? <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> so, uh, I made it clear to her that we don't want him going off the bridge. Right. So, hopefully that will not happen. Uh, I don't know if he's participating or if they're just goofing around. He was kidnapped. Um, yeah, that tracks. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I know they're on the La Puerta Bridge, the La big one. The La Puerta Bridge, the... Uh... Yeah, the one with the big old... It looks like the Golden Gate. Yes, I know I know which one that is. Um, and I mean, if you're going to go or uh, anything... No, no, uh, no, no. no. Uh, th a ride. Th this is uh, your expertise. I just wanted to make sure that you were aware. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it, he'll it, be it, fine. It might be good if you were there, possibly. I can't get... I'm on foot. Wait, where are you? I'm in the south side. I'm by the... I think the laundromat. You don't have a car? You no, you, I don't have a you car. You poor or something, Tessa? Yeah. Well, I thought you were I thought you were a car girl. I thought you fucking I thought you were all about that shit. No. Okay. Um uh, I'll come pick you up. Fuck it. <laughs> okay. If you don't mind, I don't No, I don't. Nope. I'm in front of the laundromat. Okay. Well, we got a we got a cop to save. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> But let's keep talking. Okay, um, Serge. So, um, uh, once upon a time, Serge saved my life, uh -huh. and I was kind of a little sucker for him, all right? Right. And he led me on, and then humiliated me again and again How? and again. Uh,. Hey Shabon, you wanna you wanna meet up later? Yeah, and then unlocks me and and cuffs him, unlocks me in a porta potty, and then right. makes I fun of me for ten minutes, right? Like that. I remember that. Yeah. Right, like that sort of thing. He was dating Quinn when that thing happened. Okay. Where she got ocean dumps, all right? And like he threatened to murder me like three fucking times. Why? <laughs> uh, cause he blamed me for what happened to her, and I. Oh why. yeah 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 yeah. Blame me, and he was like, he literally he threatened to ocean dump me. He threatened to drop me off of. Mount Chiliad. So, uh, uh, anyone else? Other than Sergeant Murphy? Yeah. Um. <laughs> I feel like Adams is probably gonna be jealous. Why? 
Not because of, of into me, but because he covets power. Okay. I want to say he has the heart of a hobbit. So he's kind of more of a Boromir. Okay, that's a nerd reference that I don't fully get. Nerd. Wow. Okay. <laughs> he tries to take the ring from Frodo. <clears throat> so what 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 is what does us being engaged have to do with that though? Just like that you have my ear instead of him. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Literally that. Which like I don't understand why he would be so like. Ah, but whatever. I it's something I'm just I'm anticipating. I I, um, I don't think he's gonna win head of bar. No, he's not, and he's really mad that I did not endorse him. So you're like Lance is gonna win. Yeah. Lance is for sure. Yeah, and I I'm homies with Lance. At least as much homies as I can be with Lance. I'm as much homies as I can be with a former cop too with Lance. Good. Um. The, I mean, is that it? Um, n no, not entirely. But okay, like, go, the list goes on. <laughs> no, 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 no. There was just a little bit more to say. Um, I don't really remember all of the details of the conversation I had with Sarge the other day. Okay. I like vaguely recall how it started, but I was really fucking tired and it was very late. Mm -hmm. And all I remember was being scared because he drove me to that remote location and he threatened to kill me before. So what? Uh, what I don't what, remember everything that happened. What? Yeah. What was? Really don't. Okay, but what do you remember? Because I, I, uh, I have a hard time remembering what you told me about exactly what happened. I just remember the conversation beginning with him and I talking about that like Murphy would have been a good person in the bar and then him him pretty much insisting that I withdraw repeatedly from the race. Okay. And, you know, if a member of the judiciary asks me, a lawyer, to talk about legal business, I can't rightly say no. Right. Kind of obligated to say yes. Car. Which, well, I would have walked in front of it and saved my life again. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that is to say, I don't really recall like, everything that happened. Like, I remember how it began. I remember how I felt. I remember it was not good. It's weird that I couldn't get in when there's not a door, but I'm not going to look too much into that. Um, <laughs> and this is all to say that like there, there, there is, um, I have so much history with all of them, because they were my colleagues, right? Right. So, um, I don't want them to, like, ever weaponize my past against me. So, um, I tell you something that you, uh, you haven't heard from me. So, uh, I'm going to give you a list of all of the people that I have gone on a date with, at least. Okay. Um, all right? I, I don't care. I don't care. I, I just want it. Yeah, but what if they try to say it and it looks whatever? You know what I'm saying? I'm well, just I'm what, 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 what could they possibly say? I banged your girlfriend. <laughs> oh, Siobhan is up with so-and-so. You know they used to date or something, right? When oh, it's yeah. not like that. I, like I, like I, Rod. Rod I went on a date with. I actually... It wasn't a real date. I actually gave him a grade at the end and he was really insulted. Oh, uh, what was his grade? Seven out of ten. That's not bad. It wasn't bad, no. Uh, yeah, I don't care. Uh, I trust you, so. <laughs> you know, Thank you. Yeah. I, I, uh, I do appreciate that. I just, I'm I'm trying to do better, you know? You know what? I uh, feel like uh, we became unbreakable. What, after the, the Murphy thing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a little, a little tribulation is good. Uh, you know, fucking, what's that, uh, that old saying about, like, cutting a rope and then you tie it again or some shit, right? When you tie it back together, it brings both ends closer together? Yeah. Something like that. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not a very jealous person. <laughs> I appreciate that, because I broke up with my ex-girlfriend because she could not stop being jealous. Hey, who's your ex-girlfriend? Sam McIntyre. She was... Um, She was a very talented person. Was she a, an artist? Um, without saying too much, she might have uh, co-written a Broadway play or two in her time. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's tight. I was supposed to do the music for my musical, and then we broke up, and she gave me a fully loaded double T motorcycle as a breakup gift, so that was really cool. You, you got a breakup gift? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I broke up with her for being jealous and she gave me a breakup gift. You think that was like a last ditch effort? 
No, no, I don't. I think, actually, you know what? Wait, I'm, I was looking at this really naively. It probably was a last ditch effort, yeah. Uh, what, what, so she was, was she in the DOJ too? She wasn't. And she was really grazed, uh, jealous because I had, she was jealous because of something Grayson said to me in the cart room, because he and I used to sleep together. Uh, oh. He's not around anymore. Who is that? Uh, was he a judge? He, he, yeah, he was a he was the same rank as me as a senior appointed judge, which is which is pretty high. Okay. Hi, Tessa. Hello. Hi, Gigi. See ya. Hi. Are so, you, re are you ready to play I God? Think, <laughs> I think Ursula twatted out that PD wins clown risk, which should be a good thing. Okay. Uh, can you, I don't know if they. Can you mark up the bridge? Oh, I think it isn't it like right here. That's it. Okay. Hi, Marlo. Uh, no, no, actually, I just left. Hey, the last part oh, of my God. prepared speech was just uh, Peter Parker's uh, speech from Spider-Man to can MJ. You go to Gigi? The, the last oh, part God. of your, your speech? Yeah. Um, you're going to have to recite to me because okay, I don't I'm know. I'm sorry, Marlo. Thank you. Uh, when I look into your eyes and you're looking back in mind, right, everything take care. No, I appreciate you. feels not quite normal. <laughs> because I feel stronger I am, but it'll be slow. and weaker at the same time. I feel okay. excited and at the same time terrified. Sounds good. Cool. Thank you. Uh, the truth is, I don't know what I feel, except I know what kind of woman I want to be. It's as if I've reached the unreachable and I wasn't ready for it. Is that a direct quote from the movie? Sort of. I had to adapt it because he says the thing is when you're looking into MJ's eyes and it's all like in third person, which is kind of weird. So, uh, yeah, I slightly adapted a direct quote. Okay. You got, yeah, you do have a freakish memory. Who the fuck remembers I have a quote the quote from Spider-Man I have the entire 2? movie memorized. <laughs> I can do the entire movie, the entire script. It's all memorized up here. <laughs> um, I don't see any cops. I'm calling Maple. That's a good idea. I should have thought I have his fucking number. Hi, oh. Maple. Are you okay? I forgot there's another archer here. Okay. I tried to make some phone calls. What do you mean? I wish I had the chatter. I wish I had Chatterbox's number right now. Oh, were you not in danger? His girlfriend made it sound like he was in danger. <laughs> oh. Well, Edda was scared for you, so I. Okay. So you, you volunteered to play Clown Risk? What the fuck? <laughs> you had to. Okay. Okay. I see. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Boat! All right. Well, you take care, all right? Fuck, I gotta get this. Yeah, take it. Boy, he sounded depressed. Siobhan. Why did he sound depressed? I don't know. I feel like I rained on his parade or something. Why? Yeah. Can I call you back, Greg? I'm in a car with people right now. Great, thanks, buddy. So, he was depressed that you tried to help him? It's, I don't know if he's depressed about that or something else, but he seems real down. Um, you would think someone who didn't have to flip off the top of that bridge would be in a happier mood. <laughs> Maybe he was having fun, even though he was kidnapped. Yeah, a little extracurricular activity off the beat, finally. Yeah, maybe you're right. So I'm confused. Right. Is the officer okay? Yeah, he's fine. Um, oh, good. So I guess Price is converted, but uh, so he subbed out for him and took his spot. Is that allowed in clown lore? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, uh, uh, let me check the clown code. 
Yeah, I wrote wait, it, you, so I have it. you have the clown oh, code? Yeah, you, yeah I, I wrote the clown code. I need a copy of the clown code. Okay, I'll yeah. share it with you. We're supposed to, um, in order to get the clown vote, we need to codify that into law. So if you could make it, like, look official and stuff, and, like, I don't know. Spruce it up it or something. It pretty much is, but yeah. Yeah, it doesn't be slightly spruced up. Um, like, would it, would only, would it only apply to them? <laughs> yeah, it should. Only to clowns. So what if we have a bill of rights for regular people and then the clown code for clowns? I mean, if you want to do that. <laughs> Yeah, and they could like voluntarily sign up to not, yeah, they, not have they rights. Yeah, they all sign a, an agreement <laughs> for it. That's what the clown code is. They have to sign it, and they swear mm -hmm. and affirm that they will follow the clown code. Any failures to comply with the clown code will be treated as a breach of contract and remediated through binding arbitration on the clown elders. At the clown court. Exactly. Clown court. Uh huh. Yeah. Wait, who are the clown elders? I roasted Sir Pico the other day. It was hilarious. Sir, you said Sir Pico? Sir Pico. Sir Pico, uh... He's one of the clowns. The one that works at Senior Buns and... Oh, the, has, one, with, the uh, one without feet? Missing legs. Yeah. Yeah, that guy's cool. Yeah, he's fun. Uh, a little crazy, but, you know, that's yeah. the clowns. I feel like that's required for the... the position. Miss Clown Duct? <clears throat> All right. Well, I don't want to third wheel any longer than I need to. Oh, you're to. fine. Thank you for the ride. You're not actually fine. We were Let talking. Back. A deep conversation. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. <clears throat> what? Um. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? I'm confused. Um, I am. I must speak in private with me fiance. Good. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> Um, it's nice to see you, Tessa. Yeah, I was thanks, gonna tell thanks you for something, doing that. but I forgot. Oh, there was a don't duck. For sure, with it wasn't me. important. Did you what? draw? Could you draw me a duck? I was commissioning that from her. dollars. I was doing that. Two hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. Oh, uh, I got a, uh, I got two hundred and seventeen dollars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I filled up the tank, so I have sixty-four dollars. Uh, well, look, we'll get back to you. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> Sounds good. All right, enjoy. Even with our powers combined, we cannot afford one duck. Um, am I still signed in? I MDT. Know. Yeah, yeah, and let's go to the bank again. And we can't afford our duck picture. I was actually gonna have us commissioned to swans. That's a good idea. Yeah, but she said she, she could do it. Is she gonna? <laughs> is, is she gonna do uh? Is it 1200? No, it's just a 600. The one. So what, what were the fuck were we, where did we leave off, leave off? I feel like I didn't respond to your, your heartfelt apology. Well, it was just to say that, look, everything I've done, I've done for us, not for me, for us. Right. Selling the thing. That, that's where I was going with it. Okay. Um, apology accepted. <laughs> And that was a very, very thoughtful series of messages. I, I don't think I've been spoken to like that by anyone in Los Santos. Really? No one's ever said the most romantic words a person can say to another one and quoted Spider-Man to you? No. And you know what? Back when I ran on these streets, uh, the only options for women were uh, it was a, an 80-year-old lady who shat on my chest. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, the it was slim pickings. The only the only attractive woman in Los Santos uh, got murdered and thrown into the ocean. <laughs> Terrible. That's so sad. Listen, yeah. that's never gonna happen. You know why? Because it is us against the world. That's right. Yes, that's what that's what I want. I need I need my main bitch. <laughs> All of them. The whole world. All right, come on, money. Give it to me. Ooh, four hundred eighty dollars. Ooh, fifty dollars. <laughs> I'm <Sorry>. poor. 
So much tax has come out of my fucking paycheck. I wonder if my uh, unemployment check is taxed. It probably is. Can you? I mean, UI is typically uh, taxed. That's fucked up. That is kind of fucked up. <laughs> you don't have any income, so we're gonna give you some money, but we're also gonna take from it. Why not just? Why not just give less money? <laughs> exactly. It seems kind of roundabout. Oh, good. It's nighttime now. It's the perfect time. Oh shit! It is. I forgot about this. Yeah, it's a, yeah. You know, last part. You know, it wasn't just looking at dolphins, even though I could look at dolphins all day. It was majestic. I had gotten a tarot reading done a few days ago. Oh, I should have told you about that. We got the fucking. I got. We. We. we I'll say it's we because I got a tarot reading about us, and we got the tower. Is that good? No. Well, yes and no. Pretty much just said there's a bunch of chaos that's all conceiving. Dark forces conspiring, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, it's I... supposed to represent, like, the Tower of Babel falling. I got a uh, tarot reading as well. Did you? Yeah. Um, it was with some lady at the Liquid Library. Oh, okay. So it wasn't Windsong? No. It was, so I'm, that's why I'm excited, though, because I want to see how good she is in comparison. Uh, the, the she wrote all of her own cards and did the art for all of them. She did the art for all of her. She made her own cards. They're incredible. I also got a tower. Uh, I, I think I, I think I also got a tower. What? Yeah. We both got towers. Yeah. Uh, but the thing that I, I don't really remember the cards so much, so I'm not positive. Uh, but I do remember that she's the, like the the moral, I guess. It was here. It was this part. Ooh, I actually like this part. I know, me too. Um. Ah! <laughs> Use your blinker, asshole. All right. He... I have a bit of road rage. That's fine. I can see why you don't drive very often. Adventuring uh -huh. guild. You guys want to go on an adventure? Yeah. Always. Yes. Oh, what's up? Hi. What's up, Maximilian. Hey guys. Hello. Just the person I voted for. Nice. I love you. <laughs> no, don't say that. You don't mean it. I do mean I it. Saw the poll he does. That poll's a fucking truly... lie. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, it's it's exit poll gets unreliable and incomplete data. Uh, probably not. Hell yeah. So is this their sign right here? You're out here. No, uh, let me call Winsong. See if she's here. Oh, it's on the it's on the back side of the uh, bench. Oh. What? Oh, essentially the clown code. It should be in your contract subfolder. In there. Yeah, that is it. It's her. That's her sign. Let's see. The clown code. I swear and affirm that I will follow the clown code, and any failures to comply with the clown code will be treated as breach of contract and remediated through the arbitra uh, binding arbitrator. Blah, blah, blah. You said this already. Uh, must commit to being identified by their mask and or face paint, not use it as a shield to hide behind, must consent to being voice ID'd. Okay. Uh, clowns cannot use a gun against members of the police unless they shoot first. Any shootings involving police and clowns must be reported to NCO, the National Clown Office, Clown Elders. Okay, I feel like there should be more... NCOCO? -C -O? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't like that, so... What the, why the fuck not? I don't know that clowns! <laughs> I don't question them. Clown on clown violence prohibits guns, knives, or other lethal weapons. Wrenches are acceptable. Clown snitching is acceptable if comedy is the goal rather than purely malicious intent. No serious molding will be tolerated. A clown must never ask the police for free passage lest they be punished. Be respectful in another clown's home, shoes off, and no swearing. Secrets are meant to be kept. No spilling tea allowed unless it's funny. Okay. I mean, this- Honestly, not bad. This Yeah, this is like a, uh, a good, like- Bill of Rights for them. <laughs> it really is. It really is. I mean, it doesn't handle, like, basic, like, living shit, but, you know. Yeah. Okay, where the fuck did I not save Winsong's number? I think there I... Is. I do have it saved. Okay. I found it. I have her number, too. Okay. This motherfucker keeps calling me, dog. Uh, just answer. I let it ring. It's like the third time he's calling Hey, I'm me. here. I'm here. It's dark. I'm here for the reading. At the park. You like what you see? <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay, uh, are you by the water? Okay. Love that. 
Great, see you second. Bye. Loved your pelvic thruster in the bushes. Are you gonna pelvic thrust in my bush later? Yep. <laughs> We're gonna do it sex style. <laughs> it's my favorite style. I might go six Viagra tonight. What do you think? I think it's a special night. Mm -hmm. I might, I Calling mean, for a special number of Viagras. I've never. I've is ne the Perlero Viagras or is it Viagra? Uh, I think it's Viagra. But yeah, you know, I'm, that's that's to go even further beyond for me. You know, <laughs> it might be too. It might be too many Viagra. We Vi just pace ourselves and see where the night leads. My my penis might explode. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm saying pace ourselves so that doesn't happen. Okay. Yeah, that must be on the other side. Nope, I see someone over here. Just literally by the water, so maybe this way. Hi. Oh yeah. Is that you, Winsong? Is that you, Mistress of the Night, uh, and leader of the Adventuring Guild? <laughs> Lolf? Wait a second, are you the one who was working with that dude who proposed? Oh my god, cool, alright. Hello again, nice. we meet again. The Nod? <laughs> This is cool. Oh no, that that was their signs, the adventuring shop people, their magic and beers. Okay, so we're not here for them. We're not here for them. Uh oh. They're, they're, they're Guys, we uh, first of all, I'm impressed with your setup. Uh, second of all, we were actually here for a tarot reading with Windsong. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We way there. But this looks fucking cool. <laughs> it actually is. I'm a brand new customer, and it's very, very impressive. Especially if you go to that link, it's like all organized. It's crazy. It's crazy. Should I register? Cool. Yeah, yeah, it's free to register. Why don't we? Why don't we both register? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Mad. We can go on an adventure. We're going on an adventure, Max. There's like challenges. The Candy Mountain. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go start my parkour one. Thank you. Wait, I'm in. I've joined. ID? Okay. Is there a fee for signing up? Because we may have just invested all of our money into a uh, casino. <laughs> nice. Future mayor's bringing in a casino. That's good news. Uh, it's more like a, uh, you know, like a uh, like a private business right now. Uh, I got you. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Important question. What do I want my adventuring nickname to be? Um, The Pulverizer. <laughs> I like that. The Cervix Conservator. <laughs> Ooh. The second one best. I'm a big fan of that. Hey, Can good I just job be the with Cervix? all this. Good job. <laughs> The kidney scraper. <laughs> hmm, let me think. Uh, how about the cervix corruptor? How about Ooh. how about child stabber? Um, kid kicker. <laughs> child stabber, kid kicker. <laughs> uh. I will. I want to be a neutral good paladin of tear. <laughs> I want to be a tiefling who's secretly a succubus who worships Lolf. Ah, the demon web. <laughs> Indeed. Show your ID. Oh, I have that. Yeah, it didn't disappear on me today. It's right here. 
so fucking young. Younglin. Young youngin. Not that young. Oh, when song's asking if I'm okay. Tell her, <laughs> Tell her we're going on an adventure. <laughs> You're smoking weed without me? I inhaled dust. Is there dust over here? Is it incense? Might be dust. My nickname? Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Tearnock. Tearnock? Yeah. Why does that sound familiar? I don't know. It's from something. I mean, it's Gaelic. What does it mean? I don't fucking know. I fucking didn't pass Gaelic. I can read street signs and that's about it. How do you spell it? T-I-E-R-N-O with a little uh, dashy thing above it. C-H. The umlau? Wait, is the, is, the, is the dash the umlau or, or is the umlau the periods? I think the umlau is the periods. The dash is an accent. Yeah, umlau is the two periods on top, I think. Okay. I actually don't know what the dash looks like. It's, uh, I don't think there's any way to differentiate the accent going one way or the other. I don't think there's a word for that. Okay. So where's your, uh, your companion, Mon? Sleeping? Eh. What a loser! I feel bad for making Winsong wait. I'll be right back. Okay, we're making your wait. We should oh. go. We will, we'll be back. Thank you for letting us sign up. Yeah, she's she's waiting. Just trying to make sure. Yep. Ah. Oh no, are you okay, man? I'm okay. You did you didn't see anything. <laughs> I saw you bounce off my ass. Yeah, it might have been the only thing that saved me from permanent brain damage. <laughs> oh god. Thank god you had a bouncy soft landing. Alright. Oh, wow, this place is nice. Hey, are you guys? Are you in a reading right now? Yeah. Sorry, okay, we we we'll will we, we will be right back. Well, that, that that was convenient. She hasn't she hasn't had to wait at all. Yeah, we're not making her wait at all. Time to climb. Wow, you didn't even have to step on the bench first. You're so good at climbing. Yeah, you're so good at complimenting me. <laughs> uh, the, the world doesn't get enough compliments, all right? There should be more. True. I'm going to ride this bike. Look at my balance. Dude, Look at this balance. Do an ollie. <laughs> all right, that's cool. Is that wicked? <laughs> um, I'm having issues. Let me try Magic and so how's the election going so far? Good. Who'd you vote for? Ah, you, of course. My man. Uh, a, a somewhat alarming exit poll was released recently, but I think it's full of incomplete information. It seems to insinuate the race is a lot closer than it probably is. Yeah, that's what they always try to do, ain't that? Like this? Like this oh, shit? That's pretty sick. You like this there shit? There you go. <clears throat> yup. You ever, you ever have a Razor scooter? Can't see one of those in a long time. Do we need to help her with what? Siobhan, what's wrong? I don't know. This Link is doing weird things for me. Um. Hmm. Are you like case sensitive, you mean? Yeah, did you do it case sensitive? <laughs> no. Mm, there it is. Well, all right, figured it out. Great. Boom. I was cursed. All right, done. Minor spelling mistake. 
Sorry, I like to perch. I'm getting back up here. You're like a bird of prey. Yeah. Oh, ow. Oh my god. <laughs> ow. This bush blocked my fall, thank god. Um, you see why I'm accident prone now? Yeah, I do. How are you alive? <laughs> I ask myself that every day. Now we can see the quest channel. Okay. Yay. Okay. I'm looking at the start. What will you do on your adventure? Who will you meet along the way? And what's a pri Ooh, there it is. A little oh. face punch for Siobhan. Um, <laughs> I need you to meditate on pacifism. <laughs> this quest is a simple one on purpose to get your feet on the ground. All you have to do is complete this quest is to come up with your adventurer name. Okay, so we did that. Um, we uh, we don't have to do these in order. Oh, they have level requirements. I see the okay. Oh my god, are we level one? We're not level zero, right? We start at one. Do quests equal to level? Do we have to complete every quest in the uh, category to level up? How do we level up? Oh, wow. An XP chart? Okay. All right, let's do the starter guide. Looking, looking at starter guide. <clears throat> Okay, so you get, uh, the, the chart says what level, uh, level one quests are $50. The money goes toward the loot you get on level up. Okay. Okay. I pay to win. Any swiping allowed? What? Okay, this is fucking bullshit. I can't buy a level? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is this? <laughs> I'm a working professional. How am I supposed to fucking get levels with all the fucking sweaties? Oh, get someone to dress up as me? Impossible. Oh, good news is that the... Good no, there's already that fucking doppelganger, but you're right, the ass did not fit. What, uh, what doppelganger? Remember that fucking fucked up photo Carmela texted you? Oh, yeah. I think that was her. Wasn't it? No, it pro I, I don't know. It I, might have been. I assumed it was her. I mean, I would too. I never really got the, the premiere view on Carmella. <laughs> I mean, she has a she has a bubble butt, but I wouldn't say it's a donk. So you, you want us to pay to do these quests? Bum, 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 bum. In return, we have to be okay. So we we have to pay to get the job, and then we get the the loot. Uh, so bad timing. We actually spent all of the money in our bank account on an investment, but this is definitely something we should do later. Uh huh. One hundred percent. After we after we work uh, and dredge our souls away at the fucking cubicle and senior buns. I work at Senior Buns. Does, do you judge me for that, Siobhan? <laughs> no, of course not. I'm not one of those people who thinks that putting your hands to work makes you lesser. All right. Okay. Well, Mon, great to see you again. We're going to go uh, wait next to Yield Wind Song. Um, uh, thank you. Hey, you you got something impressive going on here, I will admit. What, what are the... I'm actually impressed. I'm so impressed. This is incredible. It's what, a lot of work. What are, what are the... Uh, the numbers to the left of our names. Are those like the order in which they joined? Oh, it's on the starter guide. We react. Oh, no, that's, that's not. Those are the colors. That's not the. We, we gotta be on the same color team, okay? Let's be pale violet red. Okay. Wait, there's a. Wait, there's already someone that's pale violet red. Hang on. Oh, shit. Uh, let's be Peach Puff. <laughs> Sick. Cool. Alright, Peach Puff. <laughs> I don't like lime green, so I'm glad you didn't suggest that. It's an ugly green. I don't like it either. It's so you can have a nickname and we still know who you are. Okay. Alright. Hi, Windsong! 
Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get you some more money real fast. I, I didn't know that you'd give me give me food. So I'll be back. Wait, do we have, do we have to pay for this? <laughs> uh, she doesn't normally charge, and I gave her a lot of money last time, and I have cash on me to give her. Alright. Hi. That's Hi. the last of my monies. Winter. Hey, are you ready for us? Yeah. Winsock, do you belong to this adventuring guild? Uh, no. You should sign up. Yeah. After what you give it? us our reading. Um, yeah. It is a, like, I can't, I can't justice this with my words. You'll just have to see it for yourself. You. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. See you, Mon. Thank you, Mon. Lorian just sent me a text that said, reminder, you owe me money. <laughs> it's been like two hours. Yeah, he's a virgin, man. He doesn't have anything else to worry about. No, that makes sense, right? Yeah. So you want like a relationship reading or some shit? What, should, what do you think we should do? Um, I think we don't need a reading because our relationship is strong, but want something for the future. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they all kind of like deal with your future, man. Okay. Well, what do you what do you think, Winsor? Hmm. We only got like fifteen have minutes. Have you to gotten do this. a reading before? I have. What kind of reading did you get? A so rude. I just wanted to just give you a general one. Like past, present, future. Yes. Thank you, man. Thank you, babe. Uh, there you go. Whoa, holy shit, dude. Yes, there you go. Where's yeah, like okay. a no good problem. sip? Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. Have a good day, guys. Hi. Um. Okay, so we only have like 15 minutes before the storm comes in, according to the news. So what do you think we should so, do? We would probably need to do a three card reading. We can either do past, present, and future. That's right. Pull well, one card for your past, one card for your present. Or, and one card for your future. Okay. Or we could do a fast love reading, which is more like a relationship one. Let's do that one. Um, Fuck it. Okay, yeah, let's do it. And then we can do a, a, a more full one when we're not strapped for time. Yeah. This park's sick. Right, here you go, Max. You're going to need to roll that because Siobhan already got this reading. We're getting it for you. 156 cards? Uh, Half that, but you can get them reversed. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. 78. Okay, pick it up and roll it again. Roll it. One, three, Ooh, nine. That's going to be good. Sits. Better not be and another tower. One more this... time. If we get three towers, bruh, it's over. You got to roll the dice one more. Roll it. 33. Twin Tower. <laughs> we all call okay. our numbers to send us the cards, right? I'm just going to post them on Twitter. Well, that works. I heard you made these. Yeah, I've been working on these for years. I'm down to the last two. I have two more to go. So this is you and your relationship. The Queen of Cups, upside down. That's so good. I always get cups. That's my suit. It's that, the emotionality is suit. Is that Andy? Um, no, that's a uh, bunny. Oh. Bunny, my farmer best friend. I told you about her. Oh yeah. She's also mayor at one point. Okay. Yep, she was mayor once. Okay. Um. So this card usually means being emotionally secure and calm, really compassionate and intuitive, but upside down. Uh, that means more like tough love. So you're like, that's kind of how you show your love more so. Like you're more, um, your support and loyalty are really strong, but you like show it in a more stern way. Okay. You're more of like a teacher and a friend, but you're not a pushover. Okay. Um. I don't know and that... also, you're giving in ways that aren't really as obvious to most. So you're, you're kind of difficult whenever it comes to relationships. That is not accurate for our character. 
<laughs> we're an apologizer, man. Not not everybody can handle that kind of love, I guess. That sounds accurate. Um. Now your partner. You got the emperor upside down. Okay. That means usually the emperor is someone who builds a solid foundation and structure, or kind of like a, a father figure. Okay. Um, a, a, more of an authority figure. I feel like this is reversed. You got upside down. Not the card is reversed, but that I feel like I feel like Max is the emperor. Well, when it's upside down, that more means <laughs> that. You have this power Lindsay, and authority, but they're not she really you being old. <laughs> used wisely. <laughs> oh, never mind. That's probably me. Um, you're kind of misusing your authority, or you're kind of being more um indecisive or weaker than you should be. You did, need to speak up. Did Shadow Lord get a terror reading from Windsong? I don't remember that. Okay. True. <laughs> oh, you mean like being forthright? I mean, be more dominant. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your outlook is. <clears throat> so you got the five of swords. What does that mean? Um, I put put it there on Twitter. I see. Uh, you see, yeah. see the man with the dreadlocks. That's actually my ex. Um, sly lion. He's. Okay. Um, got most of the swords, as you see, and the other swords are on the ground. The dudes in the back, they're crying because they've lost. And he's, like, smirking because he's <laughs> like, I won. Okay. Uh, the, the clouds in the sky are, like, scary looking and shit. And there's a lot of water, which represents emotions. It's, um, kind of like a, a card that means that you're going to win something. But I at wonder the cost what that could of be. a larger defeat. Oh. It's ominous. Uh, there's it's like ominous. a competition that's really difficult, and maybe even unfair. And the costs are going to be really high, and somebody's going to get hurt. Uh, not it. <laughs> Wait, nose goes? It's not going to be either of us. <laughs> I mean, it could be that your relationship hurts other people, too. Oh. Like, it doesn't necessarily oh, yeah. mean that, like, you against each other. But somebody is definitely going to get hurt. That seems likely. That seems, yeah, that seems entirely uh, factual. And also, the outlook. Usually this card means, like, winning at all costs. Like, competing in a competition where you are willing to sacrifice pretty much anything and betray anybody or somebody I don't know hmm I yeah I, I think yeah uh, I, I think uh I can't really think of anyone I would betray oh that's not true I can think of one person <laughs> uh -huh. um that's pretty apt for what we got going on right now yeah um, we could probably do a past, present, future reading, too, if you wanted. That was faster than I anticipated. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Roll it. Did you already do this one, Siobhan? No, maybe I'll roll one of them. Well, that that isn't a good idea. Oh, really? Why? Because it's going to fuck it up, the energies? Yeah. Oops, that was my yeah. ID I took out. Yeah, Didn't you're going to mix together back. energies and um, the spirits around you are going to get goop, confused. Goop, goop. Goop. I mean, we're mixing a lot more than energy. <laughs> 119. <laughs> that was <a> sex joke. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I can't control myself. It just comes out. <laughs> like my sperm. <laughs> It just comes down <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> oh shit! Um. Oh, God. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, anyway. You don't react um, to your chat, and you sit for these fatty fat girls on GTA. You're a loser. Yes. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the 
cast. Cool ass chatter. Holy shit. Yeah, that guy's cool as fuck, dude. When you say holy shit when song, it terrifies me. I just scare myself sometimes, you know? How good you are? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So this is your pass. Uh -huh. uh, you got the Hierophant. This okay. card is all about group identification. Conforming to a certain belief system. Like how crazy 2014? Like, it can be like a religion or a cult or a gang or just something where like usually people dress the same way. They act <laughs> the, the same way. Of justice. And um, yeah, they follow a certain mindset. Oh, the card. They kind of like follow the leader kind of thing. Hey, it's Sis. Yeah, it's Sis. That's my adoptive son. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's my ex. That's how I know you. Wait, really? You're his dad. Uh, adoptive dad. <laughs> or, yeah, something like that. I don't remember. And, so I, and I adopted him when he was fresh faced and. Uh, not no pun intended. Yeah, when I when I was with him, <laughs> like I was with him whenever his face. <clears throat> anyway, um, the three of cups upside <gasps> down is your present. Okay. This means right now you're kind of um. Okay, so you got upside down. Usually this is like a really positive card. They're celebrating. They're, they got their cups together in the air. It's like friendship. Threesome card. Collaboration. Maybe threesome, but they have an abundance of like emotion, <laughs> communication, freedom of expression. Upside down, it means that you're, you might be overindulging. Like maybe too much socializing or putting too much faith in your friends or partners. But something has gone too far. <laughs> Or someone consumed too much. You guys, I VIP'd them. <laughs> something. So you're... Right now, you're in a period of overindulgence. Uh, Somebody was drinking the Kool-Aid? Mm, that might mean uh, a few things. What about you, Siobhan? Is this for um, both of us or for me? Is this for me? It's, it's for you. Okay. Yeah. Um, my pardons for the misconception. I, uh, yeah, you know, it's kind of appropriate. Uh, my staff is all women and they're here. here yeah. we are, three women. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, um, in, the cup cards are usually representing like emotions and shit too. So, it, like, that's why they are carrying the cups. And then there's a bunch of fruit, which means abundance and plants and all that. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, upside down, that just means you're going too far in this direction. You're celebrating too hard or you're putting your, your faith in the wrong people or um, just something is going too far generally with your circle of friends. Okay. Um that's actually more appropriate than you might imagine. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, usually what the spirits, like, warn with this card upside down is that you should Does take spirits? a period of, like, doing a self-focus activity. Like, something where you, like, focus on yourself to make sure that you're, um, not, like, losing yourself or, like, listening too much to people, like, who may mean well or whatever. But you just, you want to make sure that you keep yourself in check, too. Fair. You a runescape, you a runescape or I postal, dude? So excited. Let's see. You use a guy you little the ancient magic banner? Upside down. Your whole, well, not your whole reading. The hieroglyph <laughs> is right side up. Ooh, wait, this is a redhead. Look at that. Who is that? That's, uh, Sarah Ableton. That's Sebastian's sister. Yep. Hmm. And this means that, uh, your emotions are going to be preventing mental clarity in the future. And hmm. making decisions is going to be difficult. 
because their thoughts are really unclear. Okay. Uh, also, you're going to have some unwanted influences that are going to prevent, like, your decision-making ability. <laughs> the council. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. Oh, shit. Damn. Windsong. I, um, let me give you some money before the storm comes in, because goddamn, That was... That was I will incredible. take your money. Just, just as terrifying as the last reading you gave me. Thanks, man. Creepily accurate where I get creeped out. I like how uh, the first card you drew for me was Sis. That too. Yeah. And... I don't know. I, I feel like that, that rings true, but I don't really remember exactly... The car? I think what it, it was. But I, I feel like a lot of people followed you good. or something at some point. Mm. Remember people talking about you a lot? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, of sorts. <laughs> I don't really remember that shit, though. It was so long ago, and I'd done so many drugs. Yeah, fair. You're fine. You're fine. A little weed smoker. Yeah. Well, little. A lot of psychedelics in Amsterdam, too. Yeah. I blew her up. I thought like three months went by, dude. Apparently it was five years. Oh, it's been, wind song. It's been more than that. Um, I think I met your mother. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. And I think you met my mom? She's dead, right? <laughs> no. <clears throat> I don't know why I thought she was dead. But That's I, weird. I feel like I did meet your mother, though. I'm sorry. Uh, man, I don't know if it was you, but she was looking for somebody. It might have been you. Uh, she's kind of portly. Uh, yep. Um, she's not vegan. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. She likes southern food. I'm pretty sure I watched her get tased by a police officer, and she pissed herself. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> not positive. Oh. Oh, mom. Well, I'm glad she's not dead, and thank you for doing this shit for us. This was tight. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I'm trying to do this, like, at nighttime. Yeah. Anytime I'm around. It's all over. The end. <laughs> the end. Well, bedtime. Well, not bedtime. End stream time. Eat food time. I apostle, I love you. Um, <laughs> he's still. Uh, I wasn't reacting to the chat because I was I was role playing. I was trying to focus. Uh, I I am gonna un VIP you, but that said, welcome to my stream. I'm also a RuneScaper, sir. Uh, I don't have a max account, but I got like 1700 levels, I think, some shit. Don't know. Um, I'm kind of a scaper myself. Kind of want to get back into it. Wait, I think I have D&D. Uh-oh. <laughs> I have D and D. Wait. Nope, that's tomorrow. Okay. Woo. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to get some food. Probably some lucky fucking charms then. I am going to Don't your account is too trash for RS. Been here less than the less long than your viewers and have more VIP than these brokies. I don't I don't even know what VIP is. That means you can spam. That's about it. You have a badge next to your name. Um I was gonna say something I can't I'm fried, dude. 
And I gotta talk to more people tonight. 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 Wednesday stream? Maybe. Depends on how my wife's feeling. She's a uh, sick. She's a little sicky with it. Sick for two months now. She did just get unsick recently. So we went to Great Wolf Lodge. And she went swimming. <laughs> and I think that's how she got sick. Because it's like a bunch of kids in like the water area and shit. I don't know. They play Magic Quest with little Billy. Yeah. Uh, I fucking hate Magic Quest, dude. <laughs> um, the uh, dude, even as a kid, I feel like I would have hated it because they give you like these wands, and then you like have to like kind of like interact with like screens and shit. And a lot of the screens are like their detectors are really bad, their sensors and shit. So it just makes like I, I I did one with my kid, and we fought a dragon. <clears throat> and no matter how many times I did the gesture right, it never went off, and the dragon just slowly beat me to death. It made me look like a fucking pussy in front of my kid. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I hate it. Raid? No. No. Stop saying I'm based. It's making me pissed off. Um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Hooray. I'm going to go eat food. You know, he squeezed his character was based on a real person until yesterday. Yeah. Good night.